In this video, we're going to be auditing a fashion e-commerce brand that came to me under my Google Ads agency, Euro Marketing. And even though I have not started working with this brand at all, I want to take you through this step-by-step -step process that I take whenever an e-commerce store owner reaches out to me to understand exactly why they're not able to scale, why they're having so much trouble with profitability and a variety of different issues. So this e-commerce brand that you see right here on my screen is the e-commerce brand we're gonna be going over in fact I have not even taken a deep dive into the account yet so this is actually completely brand new for me as well and by the way this process I apply for every single e-commerce brand regardless of the niche it is in so it's best you watch this video until the end so you can apply this strategy for your own e-commerce brand as well to see how you are doing but my analysis really starts in determining the overall foundation of this e-commerce brand so although I do go over to the campaign section to see how many different campaigns are running at any given time I do not actually start my auditing and my analysis from looking at the campaign KPIs or the overall metrics and that's because my first step is to always click on segment and then go to conversions to click on conversion action this is one of the biggest issues 95% of e-commerce stores have and that is they're optimizing every single campaign or multiple campaigns for multiple different optimization goals which is one of the biggest issues to have so here from doing that I see there's only one specific optimization goal coming up and it looks like that's the only one that is currently firing so this is a very good sign because this means conversion tracking is most likely set up correctly but we're not done there yet because now the next step that I take is I go on over to tools and settings and under tools and settings I like to go over under measurement to conversion because I want to make sure double triple check that there is no conversion tracking issue within the account because it doesn't really make sense to continue doing an analysis of the account if there's many different conversion tracking issues going on because the data you're gonna see on the account is most likely incorrect data but here it looks like there's only one specific purchase conversion tracking code set up and it is the primary action which is again a very good sign all of these are just secondary you don't necessarily even have to pay attention to them but so far from what my analysis it looks like all of the data that we will be seeing within this ad account it's accurate data and this is really the way that I start looking into any e-commerce brand and doing any type of audit but once that's done then I take a look at all of the campaigns running here to see which different campaigns are running right now and which are spending the most money so if you see right here the top campaigns here that are spending the most amount of money this month so far are actually search campaigns which is a little bit weird but if we look at this first search campaign right here and of course you're not going to see all of the data here for security reasons but this search campaign at the very top from the looks of it is a branded search campaign which means about 99 percent of these sales are actually coming from a branded search campaign that does not honestly look too good and the reason behind that is because this means there's other traffic sources this brand is currently using and optimizing on but from Google Ads side of things only retargeting is really getting them returned so there is no kind of cold traffic coming in via Google Ads and I say that because the second campaign which is a search campaign for cold traffic has a 0.9x ROAS it has gotten only five sales so in 28 days that does not really look too ideal if we change this to all the campaigns running during this time period we can see that that is still the case that these two campaigns are the search campaigns at the very top and they're the ones that had gotten any sorts of results for this brand but the second one with cold traffic it's just not doing too well but moving on now to the third campaign right here which is a performance max campaign it looks like it was recently started because it has barely spent any type of budget at all only 118 dollars in ad spend and the budget per day is 25 dollars per day but we can see that it has gotten basically zero results so far which is not really a good sign and then the fourth campaign which was a shopping campaign looks like it had gotten one sale for 44 dollars in conversion value but that was pretty much it and it only spent 30 dollars so from the looks of it this account really looks very under optimized and under scaled because this is just relying on retargeting traffic there's no sort of cold traffic at any scale coming in that is the first issue 
I see with this ad account and this might be the same case for you. In fact, the Google Ads media buyer or the Google Ads agency you might be working with is mostly relying on branded search campaigns. Keep in mind, branded search campaigns are not necessarily a bad thing, but they do become bad when the entire account just functions on branded search campaigns and then your agency or your Google Ads media bar tells you that you're running at a 5.11 X ROAS. Well, I mean, obviously that would happen because you're only getting retargeting traffic anyways, but that's really the biggest issue I see here, which is a very simple approach, not really too much going on here in terms of cold traffic, just a very heavy reliance on hot traffic. But now the third step that I usually start taking with any ad account is I actually go inside the cold traffic campaigns or those campaigns which spend the most money. In this case, I'm gonna go inside the Pmax to get a better idea of since when this campaign has been running. So I'm recording this video on 28th of March and it looks like this campaign was started around the 16th. So it's been over 12 days so far and this campaign has still not really gotten any results nor is it spending the full budget. The only time I spent the full budget was today. And even then it overspent without any results, but things are not looking too good. I like to look at the product section next to see if there's any type of specific strategy going on, if there's anything going on within the ad account that I should be aware of. So the first thing I see is there's 2000 different SKUs within this single campaign. And these 2000 SKUs are now forced to show at a $25 a day budget. If you kind of connect the dots, you will see what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say in simple words is this budget is way too small for this number of SKUs in a single campaign. And as a result, nothing is really working here, but that's not enough because the products that are in this campaign that are getting some clicks and all of that stuff, they have Google Merchant Center issues. They're not optimized with the product data feed. As you can see here, there's missing value for every single one of these products. For some, it's either the size, for others, it's the color. And if you scroll down, I'm sure you'll find a lot of other issues here. So this really is an unoptimized account right from the foundation because of all of these issues that are currently there within the Google Merchant Center. And it's no surprise that their average CPCs are $19. $13, $6, $5. There is no way this brand is gonna be profitable with CPCs at this level. So we have already identified that an unoptimized feed and just an overall incorrect setup with this many number of SKUs and products inside of one campaign at a very low budget is one of the reasons why this account seems to be struggling. But I like to then move on to the asset group section to see if there's any other asset groups added. It does not look like there's any assets within this asset group, which is a good thing, but which means this is running only for shopping campaigns and not search campaigns. So that's exactly what we want. But that brings me to the third thing that I check within the campaign when auditing, which is the settings section. I want to make sure number one within the goal section that they're optimizing for only one goal. It should not be five goals, only one goal. So this here, this is ideally set up. That's what we want. Moving on now to the bidding. I like to look at what bidding strategy they have said. They have just said maximize conversions with no target ROAS. I mean, I don't really have any comments on that because there is not sufficient data for us to really determine what an ideal number that should be for this right here. So I would say that this is ideally set up, but then moving on to the locations, this is where a lot of brands have problems. And this e-commerce brand, it looks like it also has that problem where they have chosen this first option right here, which is not ideal because if you read what it says, it says people in regularly in or who have shown interest in your targeted location. So if I'm in the UK, but I really have this interest for the US, I'm a tourist in the US, I come to the US often, then I'm one of the potential people. Google has the potential of showing the products within this campaign, which is what we don't want. Why? Because I'm a tourist in the USA, I'm not a resident. So if you wanna only be targeting people who live within that country, it's always better to choose the second option. So this e-commerce brand had that incorrectly set up, they chose the first option. But this brings us to the final thing, which I check, which is final URL expansion. Usually I like to have the second option chosen here because I wanna be the one controlling this campaign and submitting the URLs we should be targeting. But in this case, 
the first option was chosen. So this kind of gives me a very clear idea of whether the products are the issue or if it's the campaign as a whole, that's the issue in terms of how it's set up. And in this case, it's a little bit of both in terms of why the account has not been really able to scale to the next level. That's because the products, they're all jam packed inside one campaign with a very low budget, which kind of makes it impossible for all of them to be shown properly, especially at those high CPCs. But if you combine that with this improperly set up settings section then that's really hitting the hammer on the nail kind of situation where all of these things combined is making it extremely difficult for the ad account to get any type of sustainable results but really there's nothing else to check besides this other search campaign which looks to be targeting two specific collections within the ad account itself and both of these collections they're not actually getting shown properly because the ads they're limited by the ad policy and this is a religious e-commerce brand and it says there's some kind of religious belief going on in terms of the advertising as a result the overall ads are getting limited significantly so these are things you should be paying attention to to ensure that your ads are not disabled or disapproved in any way shape or form because when these kinds of issues come up all that happens is that the overall return on ad spend starts to drop and the quality score of your ads especially with search ads really starts to take a hit which means that google is kind of labeling your ads and ad copies as a very low quality so obviously when that happens your cpc starts to go through the roof you start getting lower number of people onto your website and that too quality people and it's, it's just this little snowball effect which just adds up over time to really make it difficult for you to scale your e-commerce brand to any significant level which is what seems to be happening with this e-commerce brand i mean to begin with there's no kind of segregation strategy in place for the shopping campaign side of things and the search campaign that is getting results in a small scale it's getting disapproved because of the ad copies and all sorts of stuff like that but there's so much potential for this brand to grow through campaigns like display campaigns discovery campaigns youtube retargeting and so on and so forth and also just more shopping campaigns or search campaigns in general because again this is a fashion brand with a lot more collections and a lot more areas that google ads should be focusing on to get more traffic from but that kind of completes my audit a very quick audit here simply because there's just not too much going on with this ad account and that's the main reason why it's not able to scale to the next level that's because again there's just not enough things going on and that too the right kind of things if you're doing forty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your e-commerce brand to the next level go on to my website at euromarketing.com and book a free call with me to see if we can possibly work together and make that happen and so i can do a free audit like this just for your e-commerce brand as well but i want you to watch this video right here on the perfect google shopping and google search ad examples this video goes over some of the best shopping and search ads i've seen to date and it should give you a good idea of how your shopping and search ads should be